Alright. So we're changing out this motor with a new motor. We're gonna change out that one, that one, and that one. Those are all bad. Now, I was trying to figure out why they were bad. Let me see if I could do this one-handed. So, if... Hold on. So if I take a reading across... Oh, damn it. Alright. So across these two, I have 145. What's going on? It's 145. New motor's about 133. Now that doesn't seem too far off. So I decided to check the start windings. Yeah, that'll work, Jesus Christ. Alright, so the start windings on the new motor. 326 ohms. And then this one, I put a brand new capacitor because it wasn't starting, but once you push start it, it'll, it'll run. So, start windings on this one, 326. Now, let's look at the start winding on the old one. Start windings on the old motor. Look at that. Open line. Bad motor. Bad start windings. That one's doing the same thing. That one's doing the same thing. That's the only one that's good. But the customer wants me to replace every single one of them. So, quick video, guys. Quick video. Bad open windings. I mean, I'm sorry. Bad start windings. I'm going to check that one as well and that one as well. So, there we go. Alright, so we're going to ohm out these motors. I was a little bored here at the house, so I decided to come out to the truck and run some ohms through these. So, let's ohm out this guy. Alright, so that one's ohming, ohming out at... 134, which that's not bad. The new motor ohmed out at 133. So now let's check out the uh, start windings. Start windings are bad, so they're open. So that's why this motor wouldn't start. Once you push started it, it would keep running. It just wouldn't start. It has a new capacitor. I'm gonna take that off. Um, let's try this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one's about 131. Let's check out the start windings on this one too. The um, the new one was at about 320 something, I think. See what this one's at. 120 something. I mean, 320 something. The hell, this one's OL as well? I wonder if. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. The world. No, look. From one leg. See that from one leg? See like this. this one. Yeah, from one leg I get oil, and from another leg still get oil. Huh? Okay, so that's the other motor. Uh, so we know those two are bad. Now this one or this one? One of these two is the ones that would that would actually work in. So we're going to see which one it is, and hopefully we can find a difference. So let's just test this one out for shites and geigles. Um, so this one is reading about 119 ohms of resistance. Let's, see, let's try that again. 
at about 119 ohms. And if we go to the start windings, So we go to the start windings. So this one oh, mm, huh, I wonder if it just has maybe some bad wiring or something. 150. The new one was at 320 something. So maybe this is the one that was running. Possibly, let's try this last one. So this last one, I'm gonna just it here on the legs. Damn it! Damn it! So the last one, um, this one has 133. That's not bad at all. So now let's just the start. Start one. Just a star winding on this one. This one is OL. Also, what in the world? So, how in the hell do I have three of these? Bad. We would test it to line. It's open. Test it to the other line. It's open. Man, am I missing something here? Okay, that one has resistance. That one has a little resistance, but when you put them to start, they're open. What in the world? So, so I got three motors of bad start windings? How does that happen overnight? Or how does that happen all at the same time? So that one has 230 something. This is the one that was working then. Man, it makes me second guess myself. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe. No, that one's. That one's open as well. I mean, so the only one out of all these four that has any kind of resistance. On the start windings is that one. That's the only one that was starting. So, what what would make three of these motors go bad? That's the model number and the motors. Y S L B dash five O dash four dash B double O three. United Refrigeration uses this one two five three zero nine eight oh one. Hmm. Makes you think, huh? Makes you think.